Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only thing I got is the uh, lay on hands, basically. I'm not even, even sure if that counts as a spell or not. So. That's a class ability. Yeah, but for some reason, uh, in FG counts as a spell. Uh, I got chromatic orb and shield. Mm. Oh, I want to play sorcerer. I just keep playing cleric after cleric. You're in love with the cleric. Just admit it. I think I'm going to keep playing cleric until I've been through every domain. Imagine a full party of cavaliers who just never dismount, just run everything down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I you have to get off your horses and go into a dungeon. Yeah, actually, I was considering uh, multi classing into cavalier with this, but apparently, we don't. This campaign only runs to us to about level 7, according to Ingorgia. And I was planning on picking it after a level 10 or something. Also, if you play in an event, if you play in any of Chad's games, he doesn't allow mouse to be using cards. Yeah, he doesn't really... Uh, he's not a fan of it. Let's uh, keep it. He's going. not. He's not. The reason is just, just no mouse. Never. Well, I will, I will have a mount, but I will not use it in combat because I don't think I'll have enough levels to pick up mountain combatants or enough ACIs. I was thinking about molting this guy into a rogue, but I think I'm just going to end up taking magic initiate and playing around with some wizard spells. Oh, I wasted it. I'm sure you'll get another. <laughs> okay. <Whew>. Okay, A OK. <laughs> Go AFK okay, then. Do what you got to do. I'll try not to kill you right off the bat. Chad, rolled 11. You know what to do. Oh, wait, no, you're not a sorcerer. It's sad. <laughs> I, I will miss him. Just curious, Ingorgio, what are your, uh, I know Azul's particular rules about inspiration and, like, DM intervention and stuff are pretty clear. But I didn't find any notes. Yeah, so I didn't have the time to type everything out which I will end up doing here um, the next day or so. Anyways, uh, for inspiration, uh, with this game, you guys all start off with one at the beginning of each session. They will transfer over. Uh, you can use them like one, two, like say you fucked up a roll, you want to re-roll it, that's one. And then um, as we gain more inspiration, I will... Sorry, my son. As we get more inspiration, or like you guys start gaining more inspiration points, like next session I will uh, type out two and three um, I don't literally give them all out like Azil does you always oh, start off with one each session um, if you impress me or make me laugh or something that's completely out of the ordinary and I think it's hilarious you get an extra one and so on and so forth uh, DM intervention I don't do that uh, there is the crit and fumble table you might like it you might not like it I like it. I love it. <laughs> I like it. It's hilarious, especially using Rob's. Yes. And somebody is going to end up getting blinded, aren't they? As long as there isn't one, as long as there isn't one where you get punched in the head and lose four intelligence. I've seen that. One. I've seen one where somebody loses their eyesight. Yeah. Oh shit! That has happened too. 
Is that only on a one? Well, you have to roll a one, and then you have to roll, like, exactly a 99 or something like that. And that's happened to me. Or not to me, but somebody I played with. Yeah, I had so- I'm just thinking, as a, as a halfling, that means there's only, like, a one in 400 chance that I'm going to have to deal with a, a critical. Yes. Happy with those odds. Okay. So, um... I know you guys have been discussing in Discord, kind of like where you guys are. I, I know Koba and the Brogar are brothers. Uh, were you guys trying to rob Caesar's place? I can't remember. And hello there, Fred. How are you today, sir? So, uh, go ahead, go ahead. To my knowledge, Koba, Brogar is the proper paladin type brother while Koba is the uh, miscreant and he was robbing my family even though our families are tied together in a bond and that his father and my parents were in an adventuring party together so dick move Koba hey I do what I have to do to survive alright so with this um was Caesar going to join Acquisitions Incorporated on his own, or is he kind of just being roped in? Because I have a plan for Koba and Burger. I just don't know how to fit Caesar in there. Um, let's say that I tag along with whatever they were doing after we reconnect after being robbed. Again, dick move, Koba. You call me little princess, and you might find me <laughs> hiding in, under your bed in a princess outfit with a dagger. <laughs> so basically, how I was going to play this out was having, uh, as far as I remember, Brogar is going and searching for Koba. Um, Koba is being a street urchin still. Uh, the other three members, Samuel Fargram and uh, Or, Orange. How do you, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, yeah, Orange. Orange. All right. So yeah, I was gonna have Orange, Fargram, and um, Samuel already joining Acquisitions Inc., and then um, Koba is going to basically be brought in, and then followed by Fargram, um, Caesar. I guess you can be with uh, Brogar as well. Basically, complain if I find that little bastard before you do. I'm gonna rip this. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Hold on, are we doing the procession thing or not? The what? I don't know what the procession thing is. Basically, uh, but I'm not sure if Ingorgio uh, read that. Basically, I didn't even know Koba was in Waterdeep until I saw one poster with his name on it while I was leading a procession. Yes. And then, okay. with a shitty drawing of him. And then I hear him kicking his. Crew. Yeah, I was going to plan that out. That's why I was kind of figuring out how I was going to bring in Caesar. I didn't know if he was going, what he was doing, because I already know what the. I already got plans for the other three because they're already inside of, uh, Act Inc. But it's just what Caesar's doing. So, I got an idea. Like DMing it. Yeah, I am DMing this now. Uh, He's leading procession. Go... I catch his brother stealing from my family. I was a planning on going to Ack Inc., but I need some backup, and I talked the two of them in order for me to not tell uh, on them, basically, or tell on Kobe, Koba. Um, I roped them into bring, bringing them with to acquisitions incorporated with me. I think the initial idea was there. Basically, I was trying to rob someone from the acquisitions incorporated, and I was getting dragged inside. It's when you guys see yeah, me. Yeah, that's or... how I was going to plan on doing that. Eh, that works too. Works both ways for me. Okay, cool. Would you go to post, post, post? Would you go to Koba's brother when you want to like get a hold of the kid and like shake him till you, till you, till he drools? Especially <laughs> if Brogar didn't know that Koba was. Around here. Did you have to name yourself Brogar? Because it's it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's Brogar, little bro. 
<laughs> I just thought it was Brogar or Brobork. Oh. Brogar. All right, so uh, let's get this going. We have uh, we have Fargrim, Samuel, and Orage. You guys, uh, you guys are trying to join Acquisitions Incorporated. You all don't really know each other, so you're kind of uh, in a waiting room. Um, I don't have waiting room music because I forgot to set all that shit up. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> keep, keep going. I'll so, just keep background. So, so. Uh, <laughs> your inquiries into internships <laughs> and franchise. Okay. All right, your inquiries into internships and franchise opportunities at Acquisitions Incorporated have gone even better than you'd hoped. Uh, ridiculous rumors talk about how prospective interns of Ack Inc. aren't always treated with respect and dignity or care. Even more ridiculous uh, tale, even more ridiculous tales of interns dying at an alarming rate are told throughout the city. Thankfully, you do not believe a word of any of that. Uh, so far, everyone at the head office has treated all of you with kindness and even a bit of deference. You were shown into this elegant conference room given fine food and drink, and asked to wait to speak with none other than Omen Drawn, founder and CEO of this August organization. Uh, so this would be a good time for Orge, Fargram, and Samuel to introduce themselves. We will start with Orge, please. Oh, um, Orge, uh, Sorcerer, with uh, uh, Lightning Draconic Bloodline. Uh, I joined up with Acquisition Incorporated to just further my knowledge. All right, and a uh, little old Fargrim. Well, you want to be careful who you turn into a frog, I'll tell you that much. I'm. You know, while everyone else may be looking for a job here, I'm forced into it. You know, he turned one of their guys into a frog when he was drawling, drunking home. And, you know what, just don't go past my house and make a lot of noise with you. I'm not getting turned into a frog. I'm not really that bad of a guy. I'm just short. Tempered. And Samuel. I wonder if I was just hanging out by the temple of Timor and if I was, hey, what what can I do with my time? So uh, some guy came by looking for me. I, I used to be a merchant in Sparks, and he thought, hey, my stuff can connect. I do, but, you know, I don't lean on them too heavy. Anyway, I flipped a coin, came up heads. I thought, why not? Could be a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and as you guys are sitting here, uh, you're sitting here talking amongst yourselves, you know, waiting for uh, Omen Dran to come in. You see... Uh, all these guards bringing in this little uh, little um, minotaur, if Koba, if you want to describe how this happens. If you want to, like, how you look into or how you look and all that good stuff. Uh, basically, you see this little, like, uh, like stink pig pen from the Charlie Brown, like, really kind of a little stinky, uh, the, just, like, wearing a... Uh, a loincloth with uh, with like three minotaur heads on it. It looks like it used to be a banner. Uh, uh, he's got like some makeshift weapons. Like he's got like you can see like fence po fence posts and stuff like that. He's like fighting the guy that's dragging him. In. It's like let, let me go, you big jerk, and trying to bite him and stuff. And like, like you you can't keep me here. Sit down and shut up. And they uh, sit you down. And uh, uh, you can't keep me here. <laughs> and uh, Caesar, are you following behind with him? Yes, I'm following just to see what happens. And what do you look like, sir? I'm a medium build, uh, finely dressed tiefling with blue skin. And small horns that could point backwards away from my face. Let's see? Uh, my hair is perfectly coiffed. And I walk with a bit of a swagger. Very good. And uh, it isn't long before the door to the conference room opens. 
an intense looking half elf in plate armor enters. He wears a holy symbol of Timora, the goddess of fortune, around his neck. It is Omandran. With no introduction, the CEO of Acquisitions Incorporated speaks. And at first, he, he's looking around and he sees uh, two new people. And he's like, uh, Bro, I haven't forgotten about you. Uh, he's looking around, he sees two new people. He's like, Oh, I wasn't really expecting you guys. But uh, thank you for answering my call so quickly. We have more people than noted. And then as he is starting to talk, um, the door busts open and in comes a, another bigger looking version of uh, the Koba. And Omen Dron sits there and looks at you. And uh, Broger, if you want to describe yourself, please. Uh, okay. Um... As you see the door open, uh, you see a, like, uh, a little bit taller than seven foot <laughs> minotaur. Um, he is dark brown, and he is covered in chainmail, <laughs> bigger cow. and on top of that, plate armor. But I don't have plate armor yet, just for cosmetic purposes. Um, uh, he wears a uh, surcoat with a... Uh, to you guys probably a strange uh, house symbol which is basically black and white uh, three minotaurs had head on it and he has a uh, heavy shield in his arms mm -hmm. with a golden minotaur head forced onto it and you're looking around and you see Koba mm -hmm. Koba what the hell did you do? No! And he just like gets up from the chair. This guy grabbed me and the 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 and he like like goes. What? <laughs> I walk over to Koba and I smack him up the head <laughs> on the back. What did you do? What did you do now? I, I didn't do anything, bro. That gives you the biggest, cutest eyes possible. Like, you know me. I'm a good, 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 good. <laughs> Can I insight check in? Because I'm, I'm just listening along, and I'm just curious if you. Sure. Yeah, you're telling the truth. Bro, oh, guys, that you? Okay, sir. What are you doing? Here? I was just following along with that. I thought I recognized that kid. <laughs> I think this is Koba, my little brother. Yeah, it's been a long time. A long time, my friend. Yep, it's been a while since I've seen both of you. Who are all these other people? I have no damned idea. I don't know. They just big, big, big gray. Just this guy just grabbed me and drugged me in here for no. And uh, as you guys are talking, Omen Dron, he's like, <coughs> uh, if you will please be seated, uh, we will continue. You guys uh, are interested in joining Acquisitions Incorporated as well, I'm assuming. Yeah, why not? There's Jason Gobar in the in. Okay, perfect. So... Um, as I was saying before, rudely interrupted, as he looks over at Brogar, uh, when the earthquake struck the city two days ago, damage was limited, but a sinkhole opened up a fissure beneath an abandoned warehouse in the dock ward. Two city watch guards entered the fissure to investigate, but they never came out. They're now feared dead, and the city watch has asked me to take over the investigation. But my schedule is complicated at the moment, so I am delegating that job to you. Um, he looks at the uh, he looks at Samuel Fargram and Forge. He says, "You know, as a as an experienced adventuring group, um, I have no doubt that you can handle the task and handle them." As he uh, kind of gestures over to uh, Cover Brogar and Caesar. I presume we'll have a, a hefty donation I might be able to send down to the uh, the Temple of Luck, the Tower of Luck. And uh, B 
before you have any chance to respond, Omen will drop a hefty bag of coins onto the table. The pay is 500 gold dragons for the group, with a 20% 20 20 commission going to Acquisitions Incorporated as the broker, of course. Go to the warehouse next to Jolly's Lamp Emporium down by the docks. Tell the city watch guard station there that I sent you. Explore the fissure, learn the fate of the guards who went missing, and then come back to me with the signed city watch papers confirming your completed work. And then without another word, Omandran turns and leaves the room through a... It's actually kind of rude. As soon as, as soon as he's gone, I'm like diving towards the table <laughs> and like grabbing for the money. Go oh, no. And I try and pull him back. <laughs> oh, let's go of my tail, you big old... Uh, yeah, so through a crazy and never-to-be-explained misunderstanding... Owen believes that the characters are a group of experienced adventurers that he put out a call to for just the day before. Uh, put a call out for just the day before. Uh, if you guys attempt to correct this misunderstanding, he ignores you. Uh, but yeah, he has very important business to deal with and can't be bothered with such trifles. I'm a bit insulted. He didn't wait around for negotiations. I would have liked to get that down to 15%. <laughs> He looks at the uh, at the man that just spoke, or I no, presume you look down. Yes. Hey, well, I've less of that looking down on us. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. Well, fuck uh, They don't look down. They can't very well see us, can? Yeah. Wow. You're you're a bit small, <laughs> but I can uh, eventually let you ride on my horse. I pass him a fly for small dimension of the. Thank you for that, fellow meter. Yeah, small. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned that. Ah, do you want to describe this flyer? I've never heard of these flyers before. Wow. I don't even have a picture of it right now. It's in a different folder. I can't remember. <laughs> uh. I'll let you describe it. It's the same flyer. Uh, I have it somewhere. I know exactly where it is. It is. I think it's my pocket. It is. All right. So I just posted this flyer in a Discord. It says, "Are you small and mistreated? Join small. We treat small people good. Take flyer today. Endorse." By Tiffany, and there's a picture of a uh, gorgeous-looking rat and a small goblin person. I'm quite small, but I must say I'm quite <laughs> well treated. I don't know who you <laughs> hang out with, but you probably need better friends. Yeah, yeah, they always they always blame the small person. Yeah, it's just like just like this big uh, points over to to the broke. I mean that burger, um, uh, the, uh, the, the one whose family is sick. I'm not a tog. I'm a baron. And you will. Over. <laughs> I'm sorry, that came out wrong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lordy. Alright, so yeah, uh, you guys are at the HUD office. Whenever, whatever you guys decide to do, um, you have your plot hook, uh, and you can go from there, or you can do something else. Can we just check that the money's all there? I'm a little bit concerned. Uh, Don't let Koba near the <laughs> coin. You guys count it, I'll hold him. I am happy to kill Put me down, you big jerk. I will say, my, my large fellow, that uh, if he is indeed your brother, you might want to treat him a bit more kindly, after all. He, uh, well, needless to say, family, you only get the ones you. Hey, you big goof! Stop mistreating that smaller <laughs> one! Now! <laughs> I'm keeping an eye on you, Cobra, and I let him go. <laughs> That's and exactly what I'm talking about. I apologize, continue. 
<laughs> you you guys are so <laughs> are so gonna curse me when you see the retainer. <laughs> then I look I look at Cesar and like uh, I I I, I, re I really enjoyed your dad just like offered you like the biggest shit eating grin. And at the end of the day, if he tries to take the gold, I'll just set him on fire. <laughs> Cowards are very flammable. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him, big fella. <laughs> oh, I like you. Shall we, uh, shall we head out? I, I feel like, you know, we're really burning daylight here, not that there's much daylight underground. And I'll be burning cow fur if he try and, tries to take the money. Yeah. Come now, my grumpy little friend. There's no reason to threaten anybody. And uh, as you guys are sitting here talking and getting fixing to leave, a puff of smoke erupts out of nowhere as the haze disperses. A handsome figure steps forward. It's Jim Dark Magic. Uh, the New Hampshire Dark Magic, uh, except he's wearing a set of glasses that he apparently thinks is an effective disguise as he bows before you. Uh, oh my god! I, I, I'm, I'm no one you know. Jim Dark no, Magic! No, 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 I don't know who that is. Jim, Jim Dark Magic! Oh my god, I'm your biggest no, fan! No, 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 that, that's not me, that's not me. Holy shit, that's Jim yeah, Dark Magic! That's Jim Dark Magic! Oh, oh my god! It's enough that we all know who he is. I, 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 you don't know, I, I'm no one you know, I'm wearing disguise. Can't you see my glasses? You don't know who I am. Jim Dark Magic! Shh. Quiet, little one. You're a very good, you're a very good wizard, but you're a terrible disguise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm checking out his coin, his, 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 his belt area for it. <laughs> so he, uh, he looks around to make sure that no one's paying attention, and then uh, he kind of leaves forward. Uh, he's like, "You want some advice? Uh, go, go do that job. If you can pull it off, Owen will be so impressed that you have a leg up on everyone else trying to gain foot with the company. You've heard the phrase opportunity knocks." Opportunity is heading right, uh, right at your door with a battering ram. Stand in that doorway, friends. Let opportunity to smash this way in, and who knows, you might even be able to get up on stage with me one day. Some people call it opportunity, others call it avoiding a lawsuit. And then, uh, just as quickly as he came in, he disappears again in a puff of purple smoke. Oh, uh, good thing. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 the reckless. That was interesting. <laughs> yeah, too, too bad he left so fast that he's got lots of... I'm just going to get up and start heading out. I'm just trying to figure out who is taking the gold. What's your part in a bank? I don't trust the little cow. Big I, I can hold on to it. And, uh... Was, no. was somebody counting that gold piece by piece or just looking at it? I was counting it, yeah. Uh, there's actually only 400 gold in that bag. Well, if they're taking 20%, that would mean this is the actual amount due. Uh, they just haven't bothered to pay us 500. So, yeah, as long as they're not going to take any of this, I think everything's... Albeit a bit rude that we weren't given the chance to negotiate a better fee. I have to agree with you there. Not all about money. It's always about the money. Well, this is a business. It keeps you warm and keeps keeps food in your. I know another way to keep warm. Finally, some sensible words coming out of you, Cole. Hey, I'm not the one left. <laughs> well, technically I am, but you did it. Uh... So what's that firebolt for? So, uh, last one to the dock is a rotten egg, eh? And I just take off running. <laughs> Firebolt's a patch of grass, by the way. Just showing uh, up the people how to keep it. Okay. It was aimed at Cobra, but went straight over his head. <laughs> okay, so anyway, who is carrying the bag of gold right now? Did Michael take it or did he just run out? <laughs> we need to open a bank account. Let's put it in the bank account. We don't know what we're going to encounter down there. there might be okay. thieves down there. Let's go to the bank first. 
Uh, they they, they, do, they don't really like. Yeah, well, you stay back then. <laughs> Actually, could I take my share of 20 gold? Take a bit of my share, at least? I wish to purchase something. <laughs> mm. I might actually need some healing kits. How about we all... How many are we? Six. How about we each take 20 gold and put the rest in them? Okay. I'm already gone, so just put my share in the night. Okay. <laughs> so we'll divide 50 gold over everyone except Orit. No, wait, that's not Orit, sorry, that's Samuel. So everyone's going to take 50 gold except for Samuel? No, everyone takes 20 gold except Samuel. Okay. 40, 60, 81, so that's 300 left. All right, and just go ahead and add that to your party sheets. Uh, meanwhile, as I'm obviously going to get to the dock before them. I'm just going to sit around and try and find a, a game of chance. Oh, perfect. <laughs> okay. I uh, I asked uh, Chase if he wants to uh, carry the bag. And I'll... Sure. And then I'll escort you to the bank. Let's go, Koba. Okay, bro. We have some catching up to do. I'd like to stop by the armor. I need to pick up some uh, some armor that I've had my eye on for a while. If we're gonna really do this adventurer thing. Okay. I have to stop by some kind of apothecary or healer or whatever there is in this city. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and use my 50 gold to buy some scale mail for me. Alrighty, let's see. Items, if it will load. I just gave it to myself. So oh, that's yeah, okay. that's perfect. Yeah, you guys are in water deep, so this is, you know, fairly prosperous city, like pretty much anything you want. How much gold did we were supposed to get from that, uh, was the advance? 20. Uh, and I'm frozen up here for a second. That's I would that... like to buy uh, four healing kits if that's I'm okay. frozen up here for a second. That's essentially 66 gold each. Encourage can you uh, set it so we have the little arrows rather than the whole token work? Yeah, give me a second. Uh, I've kind of frozen up mm -hmm. if you want. I don't think he has that. Of course. Come on, James. Who am I? Well, you don't usually have it. I have it, I just don't have it turned on. <laughs> As we're walking along, I'm also looking for marks to uh, lift. <laughs> okay. I'm too busy trying to find uh, a shop that sells four healing kits. I, I know I, I know where most things are in this town. I, 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 I get around. Uh, can, you, can you tell me where I can buy healing kits, Cobra? Yeah, there's a there's a authentic place I think. Dyke pulls out like this uh, this this hand drawn map from the from the pouch and like from from his uh, from a little pouch and you see a little mouse head peek out and like uh, uh, okay I think it's this one. okay can I borrow that map oops or then, can you lead me there yeah 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 I'll lead you there okay so I follow Kova to that. Shop. Okay, you get to the shop. Hello, good sirs. I would like to buy four healing kits if you have any. Are you related to that one there? Uh, unfortunately, yes. I am Baron Brogar Stormhoof. Uh... Just offers the most innocent smile. What did he do? Hey, he'll he'll gesture around towards the back of the shop. You'll see a bunch of broken vials and stuff, uh, broken glass and stuff on the ground. And he's like, "That's what he did." How much will it cost to, to compensate you for that? Good? Hey, hey, you don't you don't, you don't pay all these people any. 
Be quiet for a moment, go back. Go outside. Oh, oh, okay. He just like quickly slips away. Like, yes, now I can run. <laughs> okay, uh, what were you saying? Uh, uh, let's, let's, let's call it five gold. I, I know, and please just keep an eye on him. He, he's a loose cannon around this city. Okay, I will uh, pay you for four healing kits and uh, an extra five gold for compensation. for. Okay, the, the healing kits are five gold each, so 20 gold. Yeah, so in total, 25 gold. See. Si. Okay. I can just add those uh, four kits. To oh, yeah. I heard you're good. Kit, no. <laughs> I'm quick. <laughs> Thanks. Yes, you are. Okay. Uh, with that out of the way, I will uh, accompany Caesar to the bank, I think. Or did he already do it? Uh, yeah, that's what I could have been doing. I could have dropped off yeah. the money in my family's bank account. The most secure vault, of course. Okay. Uh, for you guys, uh, hold on. Let me just post that pic in there. Suddenly, uh, oh, whoever is Fuck, I forgot about that. This guy following me around. Picturing. <laughs> that is my retainer, Joffrey. <laughs> oh, <God>. oh. <laughs> who's the, who, who's the oh, creepy guy? Who? That, he's gonna point at Joffrey. Oh, that's Joffrey, my retainer. Don't pay him any attention. <laughs> he just served. Oh shit! It's... He, he looks like he looks like the kind of person you find Oops. hiding under. Your... He's just poorly dressed at the moment. That is all. We've been through an ordeal trying to get here. Uh, how is that? Is it J O F F R E Y? I think. Yeah, it's in, uh, it's in there, in Discord. Oh, Jeffrey, Je oh yeah, Je Jeffrey Charles, sir. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> he's definitely giving you the creepy eyes. Although he's not, uh, he's not a combatant, so I I'm not sure if you need him on a combat track, or he just follows him with me around and carries stuff. Yeah, yeah I, I just wanted to give him a name. Okay. Alright, uh, so Shazar went to the bank, uh, uh, Brogar and Koba and Joffrey, Joffrey are all hanging out, uh, getting stuff. What about uh, Fargrim and Orge? Uh, well, just uh, I followed the guy to the bank, went with them. Okay. And good old Fargrim. Well, well, I don't know. What were you doing uh, while everyone else was doing what they're doing? Roasting flies. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Koba, uh, <laughs> Brogart, and uh, Orge, you walk out and you see your new buddy Fargram posting these flyers uh, on the walls and stalls and like uh, the lamp posts where they hang, you know, the, the the fuel lamps and good stuff. I Truly, Garrett. <laughs> Sorry, uh, go ahead. Oh, that's you know, all I was going to say. I paid some stupid goblin to do this. But, uh, appears to be no way around, so I don't even bloody hell to pay a goblin to do something. May as well just money and get nothing in Is that goblin your friend? The one you pick? Yes. It's also an employee. An employee? Ah, okay. <laughs> and he's rat. He has a rat. 
Yeah, so very pretty yeah, so we got one guy down here. Oh, no, they're they're trying to figure out what they're doing right now. Oh, this is like cleanliness. The, the very beginning you ever of our around? game. Have you ever looked in a mirror? Don't, don't exactly reek of cleanliness. I bathe once a week at least. Chase, I was laughing at that. Exactly. The rat bathes twice a day. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Copa's like there, like with like flies. So we <laughs> we had to restart this game because the uh, old DM and now uh, had to quit. Because he thought he so was, now I'm uh, taking over, and we're and taking this all over. Uh, and the person they're talking hey, about was my character. Hey, we sh we we should hook uh, to Tiffany up with bro. He takes the mouse out of his pouch that's in the front. <laughs> this, this, this is bro. <laughs> What? He holds the mouse up towards. He holds the mouse up towards you. Yeah, this, this. Get that thing away from me. Get your thing away from me. What thing? I don't have anything near you. You two have not changed a bit. Uh, a dim-witted little brother is what I've got. Yeah, he's gonna like kick, try to kick you in the shit. I tried and dodge it. <laughs> Do I need to roll for that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, give me a give me a uh, athletics. So you can get out the way. Yep, you're able to nimbly bimbly get out of your bro little brother's way. <laughs> <laughs> I laugh a little bit. Yes, and as you guys are uh, sitting there jabbering back and forth, you see uh, your buddy Samuel come walking back up. And by now, you guys have gotten to uh, kind of a, like a seedier part of town. What are you guys doing? You're wasting time. We gotta get going. <laughs> ah, Joffrey, meet the last member of this merry bunch. Who the hell is this guy? This is my retainer, Joffrey. What does he retain for you? Yeah, you'll uh, miss Pratt. Yeah, I miss nothing. Pratt too, but uh, Pratt will definitely make an appearance in this game. Items. Most yeah, definitely yeah, make it you ask me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the big muscle minotaur can't carry his. Shut up, Kova. Don't you should make me. Don't make oh me my god. On the head again. Ow! <laughs> Time more I, preserve us. What are we going to do with you two? Anyway, I we have been given a job. Sorry, I didn't smack him. I, I only said, don't make me smack you again. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Has everyone got what they need? Can we please get oh, this? Yeah. You'll be happy to know that I bought extra healing kit so I can actually heal you if something happens. Yeah, Pratt. Pratt oh, I rely on Timora to heal me, friend. But thank you. Timora? Yes, Timora, the Lady of Luck. Of course. You know who she is. Big Tower. Lots ah, of gamblers. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. So you're one of those. Oh, sorts. one of those. One of those sorts? <laughs> you mean fabulously lucky and pretty? Okay, okay, <laughs> I'm not getting into this. I serve Lady soon because she is beautiful. She... Uh, you serve Lady soon, I, I serve Lady later. As in, if we wait any later to get going, it's going to be... <laughs> I have to agree with you on that. Let us move. Yes, that's uh, going. <laughs> Koba, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> you know, just keep the money and just not do the job. <laughs> there is no honor in that. If I was in it for the money, I wouldn't bother. I already made more money since you guys have been bickering than I'm going to make from this whole deal. You already made money? Yeah. 
I made 80 gold. 80 gold. Got yeah. quick. Yes, Tymora favors the Look at him like, really? Yeah, really, really. Why would I lie about gold? Gold comes, gold goes. Who gives a damn? Let's get moving. There's adventure to be. <laughs> if you can make gold that quickly, I need to keep you as a close friend. You could always keep the lucky around, my friend. Luck has a way of where. Yeah, me and you should hang out some. Uh, I don't think I'm lucky enough to call, to help you with your problems, uh, young. Yeah, make that smaller. Uh, does anyone know how to make these damn arrows smaller? Where is this bloody warehouse? Should it? Did he give us the instructions? It should be an abandoned warehouse, but now I think it's a giant hole in the ground. I don't know how to say. make this smaller. Did he it should be off. Well, and um, so as Samuel is leading you guys down, you see a a ramshackle stall set up along the street bearing a sign that reads maps and potions working the stall is a filthy but cheerful gnome urchin several pieces of parchment are on display in the stall with six small ceramic pots placed next to them and he is playing a, a game that appears to be like three card monty oh i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend playing playing with him uh, he's already tied the church today there's there's no need to bother <laughs> What? He's he's got a he's got a knack for the um, let's just say he deals his cards underhanded. underhanded. Uh, uh, it's a cheat. I only need a map. Ah uh, yeah. So it's, a, so it's a child learning this card with the with free card bounty card. What did you say? Sorry. I'm sorry. So, so it's a child that's playing, that's doing three card. Oh, it is a. Uh, he's a cheerful but filthy-looking gnome. Uh, I, have I, do I recognize him at all from my many? Yeah, messages? he'll look over at Koba and be like, "Oh, Koba, you're back. Nice to see you again." Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 how's, how, how's, how's business? Oh, it's pretty good. Would you care to play today? Uh, hey, he looks up at his brother. <laughs> My brother probably won't let me. We don't have time for games. <laughs> you, your sign says you sell maps, is that correct? Of course I sell maps. I sell maps to everywhere. You have a map of this city. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's water deep. Like, who needs a map? I would like one. How much for one? Uh, for you, two gold. I, I know my way around the city, bro. That's it. It's just as... Hmm. All right. No map, then. He just looks smug at him because he's probably lost at three card money and way too many. <laughs> I thank you for that foul in engine surge. All right, let's go, Joffrey. I knew go. Oh, uh, say goodbye. Would you like some potions? We have some potions. They they're pretty good potions. I can heal myself. Thank you. You realize you spelled potions wrong, you idiot. What? No, I didn't. P O S H U N. Potion. No, that's not your spell. It is too. Th that's P O T I O N. No, no, no. That's the. Uh, th this is the uh, alternative <laughs> spelling for people in the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you're a very intelligent gnome. Bring great shame on the right. Why are you gonna be so mean to someone of your own kind? And he, because you, you're, you're being stupid. Oh, and behind you, he even points. He's like, "I'm going to tell on you." And he points to the flyer. He points to a flyer. Wow. 
I'm not. Um, I'm not being mean to you. I'm not oppressing You're you. You're calling me stupid. Yeah, yeah. Little you... people can't oppress little people. Yeah, yeah they can. Yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. I, I shoulder my my way in, and I kind of try to just de-escalate the situation. And oh. I'm sure, I'm sure they they less intelligent know that that we completely understand that there's a wide range of, of ways that people can sell things depending on one their... One moment, one their... moment, one moment. <laughs> and Fargrim goes over and whispers to him and he's like, I am Fargrim Snuffbottom. I am small. I don't give a rat behind who you are. You're being mean. I'm going to tell Pratt. Well, Pratt works... Pratt said they work for themselves. And that you and then the, like you got you got Pratt, you got Tiffany, and you got this little crazy smelly old gnome. You must be the old smelly gnome. Yeah, well, I'm the smelly old gnome that found the place, and I give Pratt a home. <laughs> God damn that smelly little goblin! It smells worse than his rat. <laughs> <Don't forget. laughs> Come rub my feet while this conversation is going on. This is taking too long. Uh, 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 you don't have feet. <laughs> Your hooves. My hooves. They are my hooves. <laughs> Come rub my hooves. What? What? Why are you? Why are you? Why are you impressing your your friend? He's my. He's my friend, and he's a good sir or retainer. Sorry, Joffrey. <laughs> you, you shouldn't let him boss you around. You should hear all the stories I have to tell. I paid Joffrey money to serve me, and he's been loyal to my plan for a glorious house and plan of Stormhold. Something you could learn from. Ugh, who farted? He smells underneath his armpits <laughs> and he says, I didn't fart. Yeah. You I'll get a some away from your horrible smell. Armpits, Rhaegar? And, uh, uh, Jer, Jerry, will, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll go to Koba and be like, thank you for being nice to me. You can have a potion on the house and we'll hand you a red vial. Oh, I put it in. Yeah, put it into your inventory. Okay. Koba. What is that? No, I, oh, he says it's a health potion, but... <laughs> it looks strange. <laughs> Let me look at it. No, it's mine. You get your own. <laughs> Alright. Just don't drink it and come crying to me afterwards. <laughs> I don't we don't to this warehouse or what? Come on. Let's go, Joffrey. And you too, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I just give the, uh, the, oh, the gnome a nod. And, uh, you see a sign pointing down for, uh, um, where you need to go. I forget the name of the place now. Docks. Yeah, the docks. Before we go further, gentlemen, I would just like to make sure you're aware. Occasionally, I will speak directly into your mind. Don't get uh, don't get confused when it happens. Okay. Wait, what? Who said that? I will say things, and they will come into your head, and you will hear them in your brain. Okay. You can only do that if I am out of shouting or speaking distance. Are we agreed upon? I whisper into his head. No, we are not. <laughs> Why do you want to be inside of my head when you can speak to me like a normal person? Because it's incredibly it's fun and effortless. He's creepy. It is creepy. I have to agree with Koba on that. You guys say that now, but when we're in the middle of a dark dungeon and I'm, you know, ahead of you and I'm looking at things, you'd be glad I'm not shouting out, Yes, there's a big bad evil thing up here. You guys should come up. Well, we're not in a dungeon right now, are we? Point taken. Practice. Practice and in safety. such situations, I will allow it. Oh, no, you can't disallow it, so <laughs> you, you can't allow it either. It's not really an allowing for it. It's just going to happen. Can I try and intimidate him? Sure. 
okay, hold on. I blocked off of it. Oh, shit, okay. <laughs> that didn't work yeah. anyway. You, you talk in my head, and you're going to have to deal with a club duty. Ah, uh, people are so sensitive about their heads. <laughs> That's funny. Hi, I can't move Joffrey. Oh, you made him... Uh, oh, uh... uh... Hang on. There you go. I'll just chase up and, and step behind uh, Fargrim. Keep pace. Keep up, Goba. And you, Joffrey. Righto. And you see, uh, Fargum, as you get closer, you do see another street sign that says, uh, Docks this way. And you can smell the salt in the air. Seawater. Yeah. I mean, we can smell things over the two minotaurs? <laughs> Well, I'm sure Brogar smells fine. I, however, and stop. Yeah, Brogar, he he showers once a week. Step one, everyone stop. So as a, uh, as Fargrim comes walking down here, a figure stands in the alleyway. The their luminous eyes glowing beneath a dark hood. As the hood is pulled away to reveal a skeletal face, the figure unexpectedly speaks, Your money or your life. And I need everyone to roll. Turn and I need everyone to roll initiative, please. Oh, I can't turn undead yet. Who? Net 20! Yay! Alright. Alright, Caesar. That means I win, yeah. right? Game over. Yeah. Okay, it's a good game, guys. See you guys later. Good night. And. Let's see. As, yeah, as you're. Oh, wait, you don't see anything yet. Uh, Fargrim, though, you do see uh, four more bandits step out from, uh, from the corners. But Caesar. Going to yell this back to the group. Go for it. Yeah, uh, talking is free. Because I'm about to get pounded. stuff. <laughs> I stroll up, and wave my fist at them, and uh, a bolt of energy flies out at the. Wait, what? Oh, hold on. Right, print. Correct. This is that energy hit. Everyone just hears it. Little Pratt. Yes, Pratt is back. But nothing is up happening. I will, however, move back behind the Minotaur. <laughs> meat shield. <laughs> the meat shield. Uh, I'll move up a little. About here. And uh, I shoot Jelaine with my crossbow. Yay. Ow. And she slumps down. Don't worry, no boy, I got you. Oh, 
Uh, have I run into these fellows before at some point? Uh, you would know them. I mean, these are some ruffians and you know, being an urchin. They're, uh, you're kind of used to them. Gotcha. I'm just going to, like, uh, go running towards them and then lower my head and just, like, drive my horns into one of them. It's like, you big jerks, I've seen what you did to the... Do you have that much movement? Oh yeah, you do. <laughs> and I, then I did. Then I, as a free action, I basically pull, reach back and pull out this big meat cleaver, <laughs> uh, great axe. That's a what well, looks like a meat cleaver, but it's a basically reflavored great axe from like a slaughterhouse. It's like, come on! Cow wheeled in a meat cleaver. <laughs> so ironic. <laughs> All right, so bandit one. He will shoot at good old Koba with his crossbow. Over here, you big cow. <laughs> I look like it really hurt. Kind of did. He's like, ow! Smelly thing. Smells your mom. <laughs> uh, Reroll all ones, twos, and threes on the damage roll for this attack. No, that dies. <laughs> Over here, you stupid bandit. He sends a massive <laughs> roaring bolt of flame straight into the bandit's chest, going straight through him and dissipating him in smoke. And you just see the bandit drop to the floor, this massive flaming hole in his body. I know someone who can do that too. How do you know? So, Bandit 4 will attack a Koba, smelly thing, with their scimitar. Bandit 2 will also walk up to our sweet Koba cow and swipe at it. Ouch. I think. Definitely hear a scream on that. So it's saying you do two standard critical hits to the target. Uh, fairly certain this will drop you, but we shall see. Oh, so it will crit you for the second time. Oh, never mind. I misread that. Sorry, uh, son. You can hear him scream again. He, like, <laughs> drops out to his knees and, like... And his head... His little head slumps down. <laughs> you should never come to mess with us. No! Go <laughs> That brings a whole new meaning to tenderizing the meat. <laughs> to the fellow Philly Thick. Fickle. What did that gnome just say? Yeah, Brogar, you just saw your brother go down. Uh, okay. Uh, hold on. Two, three, four, five, six. But I have zero speed, what the fuck? Yeah, it ate mine as well. I had to change it back to. We have yeah, 30, right? 30. Why is your initiative? Oh, you're you have nine decks. Ouch. How the hell do I change my speed? I'll do it. That doesn't let me. Uh, A little, uh. Hourglass next to the, the, the that line opens up the thing where you can put. Ah, oh, now I see it. Okay. Yeah. 
There you go. Excuse me right for not blowing my rage the first first combat. Alright, that's as far as I can get. And as I see Koba lying there, I'm considering using Lay on Ham uh, to revive him. But as I see that three bandits, or actually two bandits, are still standing next to him, I decide to attack Bandit 2 first. Proga. Can you do that? Don't no, worry, Koba. Everything is gonna be alright. Hey, that's a song. <laughs> Poor Koba. I toss a javelin at Bandit 2. He takes it right in the gut. <clears throat> yeah. And that's my turn. Wait, what? Why did I do that? Something is hidden or something. No, not that it was hidden. I don't know why I did that. Uh, Caesar, there we go. Leave my brother alone. Oh, there we go, Caesar. It. Second, just reading how one of my abilities works. Okay, so I will move up, seeing that my friend just went down, and this is more serious. I charge up, taking out my longsword, and it erupts in blue flame as I strike it at this band. Ow. Wait. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry, I clicked the wrong button. Wow. Maybe I just went left with that. Thump right off. Right off the top of his head. Is that how that worked? Uh... Good strike, Jason. Sorry, I've never used Green Flame Blade before. I think it was supposed to apply to another target. Yeah, it, it should jump. Yeah, that's coded wrong. So, at level 1, it's supposed to do the damage of one die, and then it puts um, half, I think it's half your mage level, half your wizard level to another one. Warlock. Yeah, half your wall at level. And then it goes at level 5, it goes up to another 1d8. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know. Sorry, man, if you want to fix that or what. Or just ignore it. Uh, I'm Why does it apply a 1d8 fire buff to me? Probably actually uses it anyway. It feels like yeah, it should jump to another creature with it. You have it as blue. Oh, at fifth level it deals in it. Oh, that's at fifth level, yeah. That's why I used that by accident. So really, I would only would have done eight damage to that guy, and then four damage to the guy behind yeah. him. So eight. Uh, let's still let's still let it kill them. Okay, then I'm gonna apply four damage to the bandit behind yep. him. Uh, and that will kill him too. Your friends are dying, bandit stop. Or what the I, fuck? I Why is it a ruffian? Hey. No, I would call him a knave. A knave. Alright, anything else? That's weird because this is like all fucked up for some reason. That's weird, it's still taking you out. Uh, will you do anything else? Not. Okay, um, so can I flip a coin as a free action? Yes. So I just sort of think to myself, hmm, to kill or to heal? And I'm going to flip my coin. Uh, I'm just going to roll a d4 on a 1 to 2. I will cast Healing Word on Koba. On a 3 or 4, I'll attack him. 
It's your lucky day, Kova. <laughs> Smelly cow. Very lucky indeed. So I'm gonna move up behind where close to is behind us. I can keep behind the giant minute. I'm just gonna move up. Uh, I guess I'll take my action to dash. To here, and that'll be my turn. Hey, right. Koba. Koba. Uh, ow, ow! I think I think I. I, think I ow! Uh, he's gonna get up. And he's gonna move ahead to half. Gonna pull free his one of his makeshift javelins. Smelly cow. Oh, the bandit, uh, he's going to see the situation and he's going to fuck off. Yeah, and he will dash. Unless you want to give chase, uh, you guys will be out of combat. I mean, we do have two people particularly good at charging. <laughs> They're on tight right. alleyways, so, uh... That's right, you weakling! Run away from the mighty group that is Acquisitions Incorporated! <laughs> I will not be giving chase. Well, that was bracing. I will not be giving chase either. I will yell at Cobra. Cobra, come back here. You already went down once. <laughs> but he's getting away. Let him go. We'll kill him another time. <laughs> Remember his face. We'll get our vengeance later. He kicks at the ground and like... Besides, you tossed a javelin into him. He's not getting that far. Speaking of, does it still lay? Did he like did it fall out of him when he ran, or is it? Uh, it is not in your sight. Bad luck, friend. Went down, lost a javelin. Not a good start to the. I'd like to pull one of my javelin out of the chest of the creature that I tossed it in. <laughs> okay. Uh, was it, was any, basically, was anyone going to give chase on this guy? No. All right. I was rummage around in Jelaine's pocket. Okay, so uh, you're going to stick your hand in her pocket. I'll take a good look first, but yeah. All right, so yeah, looking at her, uh, with all your rolls, please do those in the tower for from for future sakes. Uh, but anyways, looking looking okay. at her, uh, she's wearing yeah she's she has like nice black robes on, um, and you can tell that she does have a nice little pouch on her. I'll just grab that and count. Start counting. So you're going to reach down and do that? Oh, yeah, I mean, if, if everything looks clear and safe. So, yeah, yeah, all right. So as you uh, reach down your hand to grab her pouch, all of a sudden her arm wraps around your arm, and she stares right at you. And staring at her, uh, her eyes are, like, 
bright, like bright blue, like deathly pale, like nasty, gross. Uh, yeah, and she is still alive. I just asked her nicely to let go. Mercy uh, so kill anyone? What did you just say? And then she slumps back down and releases your hand. Uh, anyone out there want to give me an arcana or religion check? Yes, please. Religion. Jeez, OP. I'll do an arcana. Sorry, I didn't roll that in the tower. Ignore it. Okay, so Fargrim and Brogar, you can tell that she was uh, actually raised as undead by a very unique ritual that allowed her to keep her intellect and ability to speak. Dun, dun, dun. Spooky. What kind of foul magic lets an undead creature keep its way? Hmm, very interesting. She did indeed keep her intelligent. And as uh, you guys are doing this, Samuel is counting the pag, and uh, you find a potion of. Uh, there's some red vial in this potion, or in this vial, and uh, red liquid in this vial. Sorry, uh, ten gold and four bones of her toes that have fallen off. She used to be really attached to them. <laughs> uh, I take the potion, I toss the gold to, I think Chase is the one carrying the gold. I'll take the gold. Give me... I'm sure hold. it's safe. Fire Grimm's done with his undead monstrosity and he's going to set her on fire. Okay. Can I tell what kind of potion Yeah, you've is? seen these before, it's a potion of healing. I toss it to Koba and I say, here you go, Koba. A potion or a potion? A potion. So I will throw this stuff into the party sheet. Anyway, I'm leaving the flaming corpse. Yeah, it is nice and toasty. Uh, it's it's burning pretty good. Why am I multiplying? Why are you what? I don't know. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's three. Three wizards now. What the hell? What the bloody? And they're not even. They're just tokens. What the hell? Kill him. He's he's an evil duplicating. Must kill him. And uh, Koba, you know that there uh, that this, this there's a sign. Right below this tree that uh, says Jolly's Lamp Emporium. This way. It's this what? way. I guess it says this way and it's pointing down. I'm just going to... You said it's Jolly's what? In lamp? lamp Emporium. Okay. Is that where we're supposed to be going? Yeah, that's where Omen Drawn told you to go. Hey, hey, it's it's this way. Then he'll take off in the lead and uh, show people. Since he can, cut, since he knows the way through cities, so he can get there faster than. Show the back alleyways and such to get there faster. All right. So eventually, uh, the you guys do see. Uh, Jolly's Lamp Emporium is an unassuming ramshackle shop in the midst of other unassuming ramshackle shops, including the collapsed warehouse next door. Uh, people in nearby shops and apartments peer warily through their shutters as you approach. Next to the warehouse, three members of the Waterdeep City Watch stand guard. No one else is on the street except a seemingly inebriated seemingly inebriated halfling who stumbles towards you. I just get out of him. Oh, hello, fine young man. In 
Uh, he is ignoring you and stumbles past. Okay, then. Fuck off. <laughs> okay. And as you approach uh, this little warehouse, um, you see these three people. And uh, the captain, her name is Morgan Truff. She sighs. Took you long enough, she says. So let's get this done so we can get on with our lives. And she will pull a scroll from a leather pack and squints at it, barely uh, squint at, squints at its barely legible writing. So which one of you is Osgood the Ugly? I need you to sign before you go in. Nothing but paperwork and signatures since the newest masked lords got seated on the council. But hey, what can you do? I, I, I'm as the yeah. She looks you up. Shut up, Kova. You are not. <laughs> My friend. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the name is obviously ironic. Oh, I mean, it makes sense because he's ugly. And then she'll point at uh, Fargrim. You're like, oh, that must mean you're Squinty Pip. And we'll point at uh, Brogar and be like, oh, you're, you must be Great Maul McTickleton. And points at Caesar, you must be Lord Pompey Fogelstruck. And, uh... I am Baron. Bro. Oh, no, that, that's, that, that, that's totally who they are, and I'm going to try to pursue. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so now you must sign here uh, to say, you know, um, you, uh, the City Watch... Absolve, you absolve the city watch of anything, including and up to death, if what may occur down in the sewers. And I basically just take the, he's out for a pen, or is it like a... a yeah, a little, little pen marker thingy. Yeah, yeah, I just like, I just scribble a name, just like... <laughs> he hands it back like... Uh, uh, did you have anything else you needed? To... No, no, no. Uh, everyone must sign to uh, to get down here, just so we are clear. Right, 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 right. And uh, thank you for that. Gives follow, everybody wish the same slash, guy, like wish and slash. Sign, I know you guys are kind of too dumb, but uh, just sign an X. Just like gives a little devious little smirk as he steps. And as you, uh, you, you guys notice that Samuel is trying to sneak off a little bit. And uh, all of a sudden she says, stop there, little halfling. You must sign too. I'm sorry, but you must sign. I'm afraid I've got terrible hand injuries. I, I'm, you wouldn't be able to read my signature even if I did Oh, sign. just make your mark here, please. It doesn't matter what kind of mark. Just any kind of mark. I find Fargrim's name. <laughs> okay. I put the stamp of my house on it and sign it with my own. Chazar signs it with a flourish. <laughs> Actually, it's a signet ring that I use with some hot wax. Nice. Or also signs it. And what about Fargrim? Are you going to sign it, little one? Fargrim's going to read it extensively. <laughs> you'll, you'll see him pull out a small pair of glasses, put them on, and just read through every last little letter. And... It all does appear to be intact. Fargrim signs it as Bob the Town Guard. <laughs> okay. And uh, I believe that is all. So she takes it back, says thank you very much, and uh, you may go. You may go down. And she points to the hole. Uh, 
Diggity. And uh, we'll remove the rope barrier, and this is what you see. Nice long big hole going down. It's looking like chucking a hot dog in it. Mm hmm. Guys, we gotta need a, a real sturdy rope to get Rogar down there. Are you calling him fat? Hey, thank you for that fellow. Uh, I just grabbed the rope and started piling down. Looks like that. Perfect. Alright. Uh, so, let's see. First one going down. Who was the first one going down? Sorry. I think I was the first person. Um, also, a uh, reminder uh, from Gordio, if I roll ones in the tower, can you let me know to roll again? Uh, yes, I will do that. Sorry. Now, is that, I can't remember, is that for everyone or is it just one per short rest or something like that? That's everyone unless I roll a one after I re roll. Okay, cool. Alright, so you get down. You get down, you're you're pretty nimbly bimbly, you're able to climb down fairly uh fairly easy enough. What do you want me to roll to get down? <laughs> uh give me some athletics. Oh, um given that I know that it's gonna be hard for him to get down, can I cast guidance on him before he starts yes. to go down? Uh, so, Brogar, you can do that roll again since you just put guidance on you. Okay. <laughs> What's the first one that bad? So, Brogar, you start to climb down, and you can feel the rope start to pull out from the anchor that is anchored on, because you're just that damn big. But uh, it, it stops, and you're able to climb down. Uh... Fargrim starts going down immediately after, and, you know, he's being an old man, uh, he starts to slip, and give me a dex save, Fargrim. Can I try and catch him? If he does yes, fall down? Yes, if he does start to fall, you can try. Yeah, unfortunately, he does start to fall down this hole. Uh, give me, Brogar, give me, let's see, since you're still climbing down... Uh, you need athletics yeah, checks give then? me another athletics check. To s no, give me a strength check, see if you can hold it. Yeah, there you go, that works too. Yeah, no, okay. you're good. Uh, so he starts to fall, and you just reach out your massive hoof and just grab him by his, like, his neck, uh, his little uh, robes, and put him back onto the rope. Ah, <laughs> my fun work. <laughs> You're lucky I'm around, little no. Yeah, I had it all planned there. <laughs> it's all simple numbers. And let's see. Uh, orange or orange, you're able to get down. Uh, Koba, you start to slip as well. Give me an athletics check, please. Would you say I need a dex check? Yeah, dex, uh, dex check, or dex saving throw. What the fuck? Oh, I didn't put a damn fucking thing on here, that's why. Uh, all oh. right. Well, okay, all right. sorry. No, that, that's good. Uh, you get down safely. Is everyone down? Except for Caesar. Oh, sorry, what do I need uh, to do? Uh, athletics check, see if you can. Climb down. Just, 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 just jump and walk. He looks over at Broger. <laughs> and Caesar is able to get down safely. <laughs> and is Jeffrey coming down? Wait, Joffrey, Joffrey does not follow. He stays Perfect. Up just, about, just about to ask. Cool. Um, and with that... You get down. 
quick question is the potion of healing that's in the party sheet that the one that I he gave the uh, if you look in your inventory you will see that there is a actual potion in there okay gotcha. and with that let's take a 10 minute break Okay. We'll come back at uh, 38 after. Okay. So we are going to take a nice little break. If I can find where is the countdown. I think I have that one on here. Some bitch. I don't. That's weird. So we'll go to this one. Do I not have it on this one either? Damn. I know I have it on this one. Copy. Paste. There we go, break time.
And Gorgio, are you there? I am back. Uh, it's weird without Azil. Yeah, it's a little weird without Azil because this was all him uh, originally. But you know what? It's is pretty fun. So, um, yeah. I don't know why. So yeah, it's still. I mean, it's still pretty fun. It's just yeah, I miss Azil, but we still have him on Sundays. Ugly as fuck. Oops. La 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 maybe oops one more time that should do it yeah cool Perfecto. Alright, so map number one. Thank you for that follow. Uh, Did your uh, mic get muted in Gorgio? Yeah, why? Yeah, okay, now, yeah, now I can hear it. Yeah, uh, I meet myself during breaks and stuff. Ah, okay, no, I, I thought you were just trying to speak just now, and uh, that's why. Oh, yeah. I'm, I am speaking right now. <laughs> I meant before that. <laughs> Princess and Fargram looks like they're gone. Oh man. Oh I'm tired. I could really use an app, but I got another game at five o'clock.
between this game and then an hour later get out of the game. Fun, fun, fun. I'm good, yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, no, no, I mean, never mind. Uh -huh. You confuse me. I thought some one of my spell effects wasn't working properly, but it is. I was wrong. Fargram is not here. So we'll start without him. Uh, let's see who the first person was down was Samuel. Samuel, give me a, um, a perception check, please. Sure thing. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Cool. So you uh, you hear um, coming from down the hallway whilst your friends were head down a giant rat. I stealth and whisper into the brain of uh, Rogar just to keep on the quiet. I'd, be quiet. There's something down here with us. I think it's a rat. Rover looks around him and uh, sees that one by one the people are coming down behind. He tells him to stay quiet because there's a rat. <laughs> oh, that is a cantrip, damn. I'm just going to creep ahead just to confirm visually that there's only one yep, of them. Give me another perception check, then, please. Uh, you can tell that there are multiple rats in these walls. They're like squeaking and scaring about. Okay, I whisper back into the Baron's brain. I think there's quite a lot of them. Um, don't know if you guys want to try and do this the stealthy way or if we should just flush them out and kill them all. You're called. Stabbing. Yeah. Oh, he's thinking and uh, he tries to recall something that he was taught. Can I do a history? Uh, yeah. And you're trying to find out what they're weak against? Yes. Um, or specifically, uh, well, never mind, just do what you Yeah, they're not really weak to anything in particular. They're, uh, their driving force is food. All they really care about is eating. Is that what something I would remember? Yeah, you would, um, yeah, you would have known more, uh, a little bit about this. Because, you know, you're a baron, so you live in a, a nice house, so you probably have to know how to upkeep the uh, manor itself. I, I grab a piece of steel bread that I have, and I toss it up <laughs> towards the giant rat. To see what... uh, show me where we're going to try to throw it. Uh, how do I do that exactly? Hold on. Hi. Uh, Give me an arrow or a, uh, like a square. Somewhere like there, right in front of it. All right, so you are throwing a piece of steel bread. It's kind of flimsy, uh, so it'll actually land right there. And so rat number six will turn around and look at it, and immediately as soon as it lands, Another rat pops out from a hole in the ground and eats bread. And I need initiative from everybody, please. Uh, 
Oh wait, is it actually dark in here? It is not. Okay. There is light streaming down from uh, uh, the hole. But, uh, but yeah, so now that everyone's back, I can read this. The sinkhole itself, uh, the sinkhole fissure ends at a level floor of worked stone. Uh, dust, debris, rocks, and pieces of wood that once made up the walls and ceiling of the warehouse above are spread across the floor. An underground passage is blocked to the south, but it continues into darkness to the north. Two pairs of human-sized boot, pr boot prints easily spotted in the dust head northward. Smaller fissures, holes, and cracks riddle the passage, though even a halfling would find the largest, largest of them a tight fit. The floor uh, of this corridor, uh, like all this right down here, uh, it is difficult terrain for 20 feet around the point where you guys have descended. Giant rat number two eats up his bread and turns to face and look for some more and sees Brogar. And he's going to come up to Brogar. Ugh, filthy rat, stay away from me. He will bite at you. The uncleanliness. Ugh. But it 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 just gets onto you, like, it's kind of like scratches your boot. Or your hoof. Filthy. Mm. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, fucking grasp on him. Cool. Caesar. Alright. I take a look at the one in the distance. And throw a punch at it. Oh, wait, I said that. Huh? Blue fist rockets out of my arm and slams right into the rat. Nice. And from uh, out of oh, another hole in the uh, the walls, pops out another rat. And he will come down. Five, eight, 15, 25, right to Caesar. And we'll bite Caesar. No! But they can't bite for shit today. Yay! No, sad. I don't smell like a girl. <laughs> Fucking brothers. Be quiet, Papa. We're in a fight. Mom. I uh, swing my uh, big ass flail at the rat in front of me, trying. <laughs> Oh, and I missed. Okay. <laughs> and that would be my turn. Um, my crossbow says it's 1d8 plus 4 piercing damage. Is that correct? Uh, crossbow? This uh, should. Let's see. Yeah, that should be it. Yeah, as far as I know. Okay, I'll shoot a rat with a crossbow then. And my thing's starting to go through loading, so give me a second. Ay, 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 ay. Is there something on the space with giant rat one It's not letting me yeah, um, actually select give it? Give it a second. I got to reload some stuff. I got the loading screen right now. Works fine for me. Okay. Do we still have the house? 
So I said, wait a second. That's a nice hit. Right. So your target can only speak the truth for 24 hours. But it's going to die. Oh, but quick question, does your Minotaur language work? Uh, no, it, it's never worked because they don't really have a, a language coding for it. Ah, okay. Sad. I usually just reflavor Abyssal. Well, they used to be, used to be Abyssal in common, but then they changed it to, they didn't want to make it force you to have Abyssal. I do believe you're lagging, Chad. Yes, I am. Like, I, I've been saying this for a minute now. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. I've been, I've been saying that. Why is there another meal there? That's weird. Oh, okay, I didn't know so it was already dead. I couldn't see the... Yep, yeah, so it is dead. Um, you guys are still in combat, though. And there's still a giant right up top. And apparently a fogger. No idea. Alright, so from another part of the corner, the wall, another rat pops out. Come up to good old Brogar. Stay away from me, filth. And he will bite your, uh, your ankle right above the hoof. Ow! Damn it. And I kick him as a reaction. <laughs> that would be so, so uh, funny. You can try. Uh, seriously? Yeah, it, it, you, uh, you can try. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm not saying it will happen, but you can try. I don't even know what to roll for that. Just a normal uh, attack? No, nah, give me a... Give a hmm, let's go to like an athletics see if it, if you can roll over like a 15. Shit. You rolled a 21. So you kick it back into the wall. <laughs> Send it flying back. Yeah. <laughs> so this rat is going to come out to Koba. And try to bite it. his hoof. Or right above his hoof. And he does. It's got to take so long for me to clean this wound out of all this rat. And another rat will pop out of the wall. Quit being such a big... They're everywhere. Yeah, he's whining, isn't he? And the last but not least, rat number four. And we'll come up to Pargrim. And we'll bite he, he, yeah, he'll he'll bite your leg as well. Uh, why is this fucking up so bad? Uh, orange. Orange. I don't know why it's messing up like that. Uh, 
poke ton of healing. La 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 la. Oh, no, sorry, I was muted. Can you add an extra one damage to that? Because I have uh, elemental adept. Sure. And he also gets brought a tile towards us. Or towards Perfect. me. So that's number five, right? That was number five, yes. There he is. Right. Now they get packed tech decks right. if he doesn't die, oh. which he's going to die because these are rats and they're supposed to die. Rata, rata, rata. I'll switch to my long sword and take a strike at the rat. Are you dropping your current weapon? I didn't have a weapon oh. equipped. Oh yeah, you had it. Long sword. Long sword is my yeah, only you weapon. Had, you were you're still for warlock. Eat the rat. I obliterate it. Getting guts all over Fargrim. Yay! Bah, elf. Get away from me. Uh... <laughs> oh, not yet. Okay. I will just swing my flail again, trying <laughs> to get them away from me as quickly as I possibly can. Hopefully, he will get it. <laughs> Jeez, I can't roll for shit today. Okay. Killing some air. Okay, you can only just hear that. Bing. Ooh, told the dead. That's me. Ring the bell. Do the bell thing. Old man. Let, let, let me show you how it's... Actually, did not heal that guy. <laughs> I mean, he had the healing potion. <laughs> oh, jeez. Like, I, I'm rolling all the bad hits, and everyone else is rolling the good ones. Okay. Yeah, the little cow did something today. We're gonna take a short rest and get, get back. Yeah, just just there's a big spurt of blood like spraying up on Cobra and he's like laughing his ass out. <laughs> you didn't even need to cleave on the sharp side, you just hit it sideways and smashed it into the ground. <laughs> See bro, that's how you do it. Shut up, Cobra. For the last time. <laughs> Stop oppressing your little brother. He's doing well. <laughs> he's being a pain in my ass. That's what he's being. Looking for you, that cleaver ain't a pain in your ass. <sighs> oh, be quiet, no. Yeah, you yeah, just size it. Sizest. Just call. Just call him sizest. You know, Fargrim, you're the, you're the one who keeps bringing everything back to size, which I think might be considered the most sizeless position. Yeah, I'm defending the small people. I mean, aren't you gathering a big collection of only uh, small people? That seems very discriminatory. What if a tall person wants to join? They're more than welcome to join. As long as they don't discriminate. Oh yeah, I don't discriminate. I need to ch change the uh, Oh, I can't. Meanwhile, I, a very short person, do discriminate. I have very discriminating. Oh, I can't even right now. <laughs> How did we get into this conversation? We still have a filthy rap here. Fargrim, for making me cry for laughing so hard, that's an inspiration point, dude. 
Oh, yeah, I'm still fucking crying over here. You can stand to be a little dirty yourself. Pretty. Yeah, Fargram is uh, covered in a little bit of blood. As this rat will try and bite Brogar. Huzzah! Again. Filthy rat. Stay away. Yeah, he bit, uh, he bit, like, uh, kind of like your thigh area. Oh, this like laughing at this. <laughs> Get him off me. I can hurt you. He wants to give you a big kiss. <laughs> Shut up, Kawa. <laughs> Lightning. And pull him towards me. Yeah, <laughs> he goes and he goes. To oh, turns out I don't need to pull him towards yeah, me. He died. Hey, I thought you said you weren't oppressed. Yeah, take a fire. <laughs> You know, uh, to the very large uh, host gentleman, if you guys continue arguing, I might be inclined not to heal you just so I don't have to listen. <laughs> it's just a word. Uh, cleric does heal. Mm. I'll try and keep it down. Maybe that did. little one stays out of my way. Maybe they don't roar. We little ones need to stick together. Can we have a sit down before we go a little bit further? A couple of these people look a little bit tired, and honestly, I've only got one one effective healing spell left. I wouldn't want to use it now. I'm supposed uh, to be the frail old man here. And also, uh, Orge, when you killed this rat, um, it coughed up a humanoid finger. Uh, has a it has a platinum ring on it. Mm-hmm. Alright, I'll take this platinum ring. Is there any, like, identifying marks on yes. it? Yes, etched inside the ring is the name Burton Boot. Do we recognize the name? Uh, give me a history check. It, that, that, that looks like a signet ring. I, I got one, man. Uh, Samuel, you do not know that. I will try as no, well. Noah does Orge. I have no clue what this is. Brogar, you're good with houses. We need to know whose signet ring yes, this is. Yes, Brogar, you notice that uh, this guy is actually one of the deceased constables of the watch that was sent down here. And it was his, uh, his finger was bitten off by the rat. Oh boy, <laughs> one of the city watchmen constables got eaten again. Oh boy. Thank you for that. Uh, oh, thank you for the foul. Uh, uh, They're uh, really uh, crap. No, I think that, that one was. Yeah, he was eaten by a rat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ratastrophe. <laughs> they just let anyone on the city watch these days, don't they? God, can't even beat up a rat. I laugh at Fargrim's joke that he said it was a rat task for free. <laughs> now, also, by the way, all these rats were dyed a bright green. <laughs> the incredible rat? Yes, all the rats were a bright green color. I hope in our I adventure. I'm in danger. I do hope in our adventure that we are going to meet a very green colored dog. I pick one up and smell it, and then like lick it just to see what if it's like pain. Ah, uh, you did that. anyone a giant rat before? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, they're re really good, especially you know. Hey, do you want to try this one? To see if it tastes normal. I I don't know if we got time time to. It's okay. Fargrim will just cast fireball. <laughs> Why don't we take about a half an hour and wrap what, what up? Do you need, what, 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 what do you need setting on fire? I'm good at setting things on fire. <laughs> well, we need to cook up this rat so uh, Cobra can eat it. Okay, I'll grill it right on the floor. <laughs> I, I, find, I, I just stick it on the end of one of my, my uh, javelins, like my makeshift javelins, and just like hold it out and like... Turn out. 
All right, so as your firebolt uh, lands on this rat, it uh, burns away the hair and cooks his meat pretty damn good. Like, it's a perfect taste. Meat. Uh, what? Meat, give me a piece. I thought you were too Mr. Fancy Pants. I'm hungry. Some stupid rat bit me. No, actually, three rats bit. I can cook you one up if you want as well. There's another one over there. Okay. I you can eat up. all the rats that bit you if you want. <laughs> I hold up one of the rats on one of my uh, javelins. So there. this next rat that uh, Forgrim cooks, uh, it's a little, little under well, undercooked. You like it, right? Uh, can you cook it a bit more, please? Yeah, well, here it goes. Hiya! We just start a hibachi restaurant with the wins. <laughs> Fuck acquisitions and collaborate and then just make uh, food, guys. There we go. Is, it, is it now medium rare? It is. Okay, I start to eat it. By the way, did you see that medicine check I did? Yes, I did. What were you trying to do with it? Uh, I would like to check them myself with that skill to see if my wounds are. Infected. Uh, you are not sure, but you the bleeding has stopped. Crap. Okay, good, thanks. I'm just gonna COVID is gonna like freaking out. Like you, you make better make sure you. Get those checked out, you might turn into a giant rat. He, might, to, he might turn into a wermator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like, I like, your, new friend, I like your new friends, bro. Who said he was my friend? I cooked you a rat. Oh, uh, that's true. Alright, fair enough. Okay, I'll call you a new friend. Koba, you're still my little brother that has a lot of... It's like, big one, small one, and tiny one. We're like a threesome. Yeah, we're nesting the... Yeah. Oh, this is going to be a long adventure. <laughs> Wait, I in introduce you to all the guys. What did you say to all the guys? Yeah, all the, yeah, all the guys, the, the the other people live. Did you just enlarge your uh, self far? I, I hope I do hope one of you picks up a spell on large person. That would be super funny or something like. That. <laughs> yeah. Make Fargrim even tinier, then he can start a different flyer business. Yes, yeah, so I used to, uh, one of my characters I had was a wizard, and I made him very small, and I rode on my mage hand because I weighed less than ten pounds, and the mage hand can hold ten pounds. So I used it as a Nimbus Cloud. <laughs> that's, that's pretty cool. For like one minute. Uh, I did it multiple <laughs> times, but yes. So did we, uh, did we use that time to take a short rest to blow hit dice, or we just took a look? I wasn't sure what you guys were sitting down here. Someone just said 30 minutes. Yeah, it would be a good idea to take a short rest. Yeah, short rest. Are you sure? Wait, did the guards up top, did they leave immediately after we went no, in? No, they just unhooked the uh, the rope and they are still standing guard. Oh. Are we taking a short rest? I think it might be a wise thing to do, considering... Well, are you sure? There's a room up ahead if you guys want to rest in there instead. Uh, but I, I didn't see how well lit it was. Oh, it might be it might be nicer to rest here while we can see. <laughs> Well, 
Yeah, let's go ahead. Alright, so we're now taking a short rest here now. Stay close, Koba. Wouldn't want you to fall down again. And I've already checked the area of the trap is clean, so feel free to head forward. So let me uh, let me check ahead once we get to the threshold. And everyone move. Everyone okay. can move their token to up top, and yeah, move. Move Matt automatically because I'm lazy to move everyone. Are you moved on top of me, Orich? You moved on top of me. I'm gonna keep oh, checking for traps when we come in. Alright, so this rectangular chamber shows no earthquake damage, possibly because of the buttresses and columns supporting the walls and ceiling. Four pools of liquid are set into the floor. One blue, another green, a third clear, and the last one cloudy. Carvings on the walls seemingly depict the pools and show road figures submerging themselves within. At the far end of the chamber stands a double door with a large, ornately carved lock. Well, nothing was ventured, nothing came. Gross as. Geronimo! Ew! As you know, you must be shorter than four feet to climb into this tub. Alright, so let's see. I'd literally dive bombed in there. I'm assuming Samuel got very well. Yeah, Koba's backing away. It's like I, I, I don't, I don't want. So as Samuel and Farker get into this blue pool, um, both of you give me a charisma saving throw. Oh, All right. So let's see. That might be a good idea. Uh, failure. Remember if I do roll any one. So me. you have, both of you have visions of terrible calamities such as rotting flesh, crumbling edifices, and political speeches. But you do gain something. So hang on. Copy. So that is Fargram and Samuel. Well, that was odder than I expected from my uh, thing of water, but what can you do? I wonder if they all do something like this. Oh, be aware, people, you will see terrible things if you get in that pool, but it's not so bad. All right. Oh, yeah, sounds well, good to me. You, cleric! <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Oh, god damn it! Nothing ventured, nothing uh, well, gained, my short little friend. Geronimo! Oh, Splash! Okay, so, uh, Brogar and Orge both give me charisma saving throws. Alright, so yeah, you both have nasty, uh, uh, visions of terrible calamities such as rotting flesh, crumbling edifices, and political speeches. But you guys rolled fairly decent on your rolls, so you get a little special thingy. Does this count as your one buff a week? There, uh, count. Mm hmm. I don't know what this is. It wasn't so bad though, right? I mean, a bit gross. All right, hold. so let's see the clear pool. Both of you give me, uh, Fargram and Samuel give me, uh, what the hell one is that? It's intelligence saving throw. You motherfucker. Oh, you're that. good. Uh, let's see. So you guys see the infinite, infinite possibilities of the multiverse seep into your brain. Splat. So 
Samuel. Add Fargram. Okay. Okay, that one was really good. I, I could do that one again. I jump out and I jump back in just to see if it happens again. Give me another intelligence saving throw. And thank you for the foul uh, block and Nobly. Ah, nothing happens. You have the, you do have that vision, but nothing else happens. It's only good the first time. I wouldn't bother with the second. I cop a bit of I, I cop a bit of water in my hand and throw it at Koba. At Koba? Oh. Yes. No, 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 no. I fully sprint to the other pool and jump. Uh, Brogar and Orge give me intelligence saving throws. Yeah, I've got an idea. Geronimo! I need one of these pools at home. These are great. That one lets you see God. Okay, so, Orge, uh, you get... Uh, you do see the infinite possibilities of the multiple seep into your uh, brain. Um, Brogar, you do as well. Except, unfortunately for you, uh, these theoretical possibilities impose one level of exhaustion onto you. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is madness. So, these pools are great. Let me get this exhaustion thing loaded up. I'm not I... getting into another one of them. Can I try to uh, examine? Did you say there were writing on the pillars of the wall? Uh, one second. Where is it? Uh, broke Alright, these pillars. Yeah, so these coverings on the walls uh, depict the pools and show robed figures submerging themselves within it. But there's nothing on these pillars. Robed figures? Oh. Exactly, wizards. And Fargrim, give me a constitution saving throw. Wow. Alright, so you get this. Wait, did Fargum get into all four pools now? I believe I've only seen him in three. And Samuel, give me a wisdom check. Wisdom's my job! Because uh, intense itching is coming over your body. Boing! Splash! This one's a bit less comfortable. Oh, well, you're already in. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. So, Orge, you get another special thingy. And Parker. I throw, I throw more water at Cobra. <laughs> Parker, give me a, another wisdom, uh, wisdom check, please. Uh, same thing. You get another little special dealy. They're really quite transcendental, Kobo. You might want to try it. Except for that one. That one itched. That which indoors. Uh, what the hell? What? I'm tired. Are there any consequences from the cloudy pool for me? Um, did you jump into that one? I did a wisdom saving throw. Uh, Samuel, 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 where are you? No, you are good. Yep, you are good. I assume Constitution left. After this one is a wisdom check. Well, you had me do a wisdom check in the in the bottom oh, one. Oh, the green one. I'm sorry. Yeah, the green one. Um, uh, 
green one is a con save. And unfortunately for you, you will take, ouch, 10 points of poison damage and you gain vulnerability to poison damage. And now I do think it is a good time to take a rest, <laughs> my friend. That one is not nice. Oh, it's in it. It was fun. I thought it was quite warm as well. Well, I must say, I'm feeling a bit worse for wear. I'm going to take a rest. Can I fill my water skin here. up with the magic space juice? Magic space juice? Something to... <laughs> I want more of this magic space juice for later. Uh, do you have an empty vial? I have a water skin. Uh, I'm going to pour it out. Go ahead. And then fill it up. Absolutely. Oh. And yes, uh, okay. yeah, Fargrim and Samuel went into all four. Okay. Are you guys happy to take a short rest? Yes. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, nice. I heal everything. Doba, what you doing? <laughs> Did you like that bit of water, Koba? <laughs> Hey, sorry, get the phone call real quick. Um, just, we roll. Roll your hit die if you want to heal. Short rest. And now I'm uh, actually sorry that I didn't take the healer fee. Don't worry, I still got that potion from. Oh, that's right. That potion. That didn't look like a real potion. <laughs> Here's a potion. That's what he said. Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> that's what he that's said. The, that's oh, the that's fancy way he is. Oh. Uh. Gorgio, I rolled a one on my hit die recovery. Does Lucky work for that as well, or is it just D20? No, just D20s. Just D20s. Okay. It's, uh... I didn't roll a, a one in the poison. Yeah, when you roll a one on an attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Okay, so I didn't roll a one on my constitution. You did not. That's a shame. Okay, I'm all rested up. Are we ready to press on? Yes. I still feel like crap, but I guess there's nothing for it. Wait, how, when does exhaustion go away? On a long yes. rest? Correct. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. Let me have a look at this. What seems to be the problem? The store is sealed. And Gorgio, you haven't given me... Uh... Uh, vulnerability to poison. Did I not? Oh, thank you for that. Going to push on the door, see if it opens. It does not. Oops. Mm. Knock, knock. Try and push sure. it. Uh, with your little itty bitty hands, uh, you're pushing up against it as hard as you can, and you just start to slide backwards. Um, I think this is more more your territory, Mr. Minotaur. Starts pushing. Maybe you too as well, little. 
That's push, Koba. Put your back into it. Minor tour and mini tour. <laughs> Sad but cool. Yeah, yeah. I'll help. By, I'll help give uh, Burger advantage by help. Okay. So that cancels out my disadvantage. It would. Do you want me to uh, roll? Uh, roll a strength check, yes. Uh, unfortunately, you're pushing into it. Uh, not you, you don't think it, you're pushing into it as hard as you can because you're pretty tired. But uh, you start to slide backwards as well. Let me get a shot. <laughs> okay. Come here, uh, uh, Miss. Uh, he's gonna look over at the gnome. Like, come here and help. Because my brother's weak. I'm still tired. That pool did something to me. I'm gonna give Cobra advantage. Okay. Mm, same thing. It's uh, it's just not moving. Yeah, we have to roll. Even with... Can I investigate the doorway and see if there's anything we haven't yes, seen? Yes, you can. Give me an investigation check. Uh, that just appears to be a normal door. <laughs> Minotaur charge it. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe if we. Come on, Mr. Minotaur. Don't give up so easily. Try again. Yeah, charge it from a distance. Yeah, is that right? Charge it. Oh, there okay. is. A, a, I don't know if I told you this or not, but there is a lock on this door. Oh, let me take a look at that. Sorry, I thought I told you that. Can I try and pick the lock? Absolutely. All right. So as you do that, the lock clicks. I, I could have done that if the city guard had taken my. Now, can I push it open? Try again, big man. I think it's unlocked now. Okay. And I start pushing again. The door opens. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still strong. I splash Cobra again. <laughs> ah! Stab it! He doesn't. Look he over. doesn't want to take a bath. <laughs> He's gonna look over at Broger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're strong, strong, strong smelling. He ignores him for now. Oops. Don't you love brotherly love? Uh, this looks a bit ominous. Do you guys want me to take another peep ahead, or do you want to uh, rush in blindly and see what happens? <laughs> no, 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 no. no these old places never rush and blend. They always check the traps. You never know who's been down here before. Okay, bear with me. I'll be right back. I'm gonna stop. Okay. Okay. You do it like this. If Hargrim starts then, tapping his staff all over the I'm floor. Best to get. Uh, show me your movement. So, going up here, Fargrim's tapping, tap tap on the floor, tap tap on the wall, he's moving very slowly, but because of his dungeon delver feet, he can move at regular speed whilst checking for yes. So, he has a good tour. So with Del Dungeon Delver, don't you need to make some checks? One moment. Yeah, you don't have it uh, out listed. Sorry. Do I not, uh, do I not have it on my nope. sheet? Ooh. Yeah, I do. It's on my character sheet. On action. In your feeds. 
It's on action. Yes, it's in your beats. So I wasn't looking at that. Uh, you've been original wisdom. Okay. Uh, yeah, we still need some uh, checks from you, please. What would you like? Investigation or perception. Goba, get back here. Get, get yourself killed again. <laughs> I mean, uh, knocked down again. <laughs> All right, so, uh, Fargrim, you notice that into the wall directly next to you is a trap um, that looks like it will pop open and give off some fire. Can I see where what activates? Yes, the foot. Uh, there's a, like, if you step right in front of you, there's a little indention that would press down and pop up. I'm going to um, yell at everyone that not to step there. Guys! Told you there are traps down here. This just doesn't feel right. It feels like it might move if you step on it. Highly advise it. Have I found anything on my end? Not yet. So, Fargrim, are you still just walking along, or are you, like, actively searching? I'm still actively searching. Alright. Uh, Samuel. Uh... So, as you step into this area, a swirling cloud of green dye pops up from where you and uh, like this whole little area. So, I didn't see anything the whole not, time? Not up here. I, I've been watching where you, you've been going. Uh, okay. Uh, so both of you give me a dexterity saving throw. All right, so Samuel, you're able to dodge out of the way of this, but unfortunately, Fargrim, um, a wave of magical green dye appears uh, covers over you. Okay, go ahead. I want to be green. <laughs> Let's see if it works. Uh, 13. Nope, it's still coming over you. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Inspiration. So this, <laughs> so you rolled a four. You were on that one on this one. Oh God! I don't want to be green. <laughs> so, Too so bad. this magical dye is non-toxic, cruelty-free, pet-safe, and hypoallergenic, um, and you are now green. Thanks, Sam. Fargrim, you look a bit like a bearded goblin, though. <laughs> uh, look. Thanks so much. Make an effect for this. <laughs> the Baron starts to laugh. <laughs> I, uh, you whispered to Oric. <laughs> uh, give me two seconds here. Did you see that? Covered in green. Cover too bad that was. After it fires, can we see what mechanism caused it to trigger? Yes, there was a depression right in front of you. Why wasn't he searching for traps? He was. He, I was he, the whole time. He, really he, every he, yeah, he was. That's the thing. It wasn't a nat one, nope. was it? Uh, if you roll a one, I will tell you. Don't worry. I'm not that kind of DM. I'm just paranoid. <laughs> that, that, that's not very funny. I, I, I would have made it. Pink. There, the Fargrim, I made an effect just for you. So, looking at the trap mechanism, can I see if it's been. if it needs to be reset? 
Is it safe now? To it is able it? to be deactivated. Okay, can I do that? Do you have thieves tools? Yes, I do. Geronimo! Are you jumping on it? I am. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Samuel, give me a dexterity saving throw. Uh, if I see him moving anywhere near the mechanism, I'm just moving out of the range. Oh, of oh, okay. Like, as soon as I see him moving. Okay, so he goes and jumps on it, and poof, another, some more green die pops up. Argrim's jumping up and down rapidly. You are now a definitely green boy. Still jumping. Okay, guys, I guess we're going home. Uh, can't get past this unless we all want to be green, and we've got a we got a frustratingly difficult gnome. He's an old git. I'm green, everyone's He's green. Old. You look like a goblin I, now. Hey, you look like Pratt. What's that crazy gnome doing? Why is he green? Oh, he uh, got caught in a blast of some trap of some sort. I don't know. He won't let me disarm it. He keeps trying to get me green as well, but... You okay, caused me to go. Uh, I know that. I just wanted to hear the story coming <laughs> from your mouth. I saw it happen. I laughed so hard. <laughs> I just sit down and, and stare at Fargrim until he gets bored. <laughs> oh, trust me, I am more tedious than you could ever wish to be. Oh, I'm green. You're going to be green too. Uh, so it's your fault. You need uh, Penny and D. Baron, do you have any rope? Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I do not. I don't have any rope. Uh, I've got some rope. Uh, uh, Baron, do, you're a, a minotaur. Now, I don't want to cast aspersions on, on, on your race, but do you know how to tie a lasso? Lass yes. Do you think maybe you could uh, get Thorgrim off that trap mechanism? I can try. That would be fantastic. But first I need someone to give me a rope. I, I'll i hand you a rope. 50 feet of it. I, I grab the rope. And I try to tie a lasso. Do I know how to do it? In Gorgio. Um, you're a cow. I don't see why you wouldn't be able to know how to lasso yourself. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Made a lasso. And I will try and move up a bit so I can lasso Fargrim in midair and pull him towards do I, me. Do I know what I'm trying to do with this? Well, are you still jumping up and down like a git? I'm currently looking at Broga. <laughs> he seems to be approaching. approaching you. I what are you doing? What are you doing, Minotaur? Get off that mechanism. God damn it. <laughs> Why did you cast Hideous Laughter at me? <laughs> and now I and now I tossed the rope at him. What do you need me to roll? Uh let's give me Who would be funny? Uh, let's see. Probably, damn. Hmm. Let me look really quick. I'd say, let's try F. I would, I want to say animal handling because rope and, but you're the cow. So give me, no, I did, I didn't so do, uh, <laughs> give me athletics as a, opposed to Fargrim's. See if Fargrim can get out of it. So does Fargrim have a chance to react yeah. to this? Uh, do, give me the same thing. And Fargrim... Oh. He fires a firebolt at the rope. Okay. The rope... It hits the rope. I take a charge towards him and like just try to tackle him. Be careful of the mechanism. Yeah, where that arrow is, that's where the mechanism is. 
Yeah, still gonna try to attack. Is he is he in the storm cloud? He is now. Jump. Uh, give me both of you. Give me opposing strength checks. Oh boy! A cow, really? Fargrim. Basically, <laughs> with <laughs> So as you try to uh, go down and tackle Fargrim, he jumps up out of your reach, and you land on the mechanism. Oh no! Give me a Dex saving throw. We do not have a green cow. God damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna go and talk Fargrim off of the uh, mechanism and get him to come back over here. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna try and persuade him. Like Fargrim, come on, man! We're never gonna get any further if you keep this up. Don't you okay. want the money? There's money at the end of it. Uh, I, so, since I since I made it, I'm gonna roll to the other side of the mechanism so. That... There is a pretty, uh, so the cloud for that mechanism goes from there to there, where that line is. And uh, you guys haven't made it farther because there still might be traps. Enough, okay. You want us to be green, let's be green together. Nope. Exactly, solidarity. He goes. Can I try and uh, being green. do that persuasion check? Uh, you gave me a perception. Oh, did I do perception? Did perception yeah. All right, uh, persuasion. Let's see what Farkham can do. Farkham's oh, stubborn as a cat. Hey, give me an insight check, Farkham. All right, so uh, Samuel, you you are able to persuade him. No, he's not. He is. He rolled higher. I don't care. <laughs> Unless someone's going green, I'm not moving. Hey, Fargrim, I got some of that magic space juice. If you want some, if you come I over think here. Thank you for Mrs. Uh, no. Remember that magic it. space Mr. juice? Mr. Sure. You loved you, it. You either go green or you go go pack. <laughs> Didn't Brogar just say he'd go green with you? I, I'm i going to do the same as Koba, and I'm going to try and tackle him. <laughs> okay. uh, I, I, I crouch down behind Fargrim, so that the, if he does tackle him, he goes down really hard. Okay. I like I need, if any of you can aid me in this <laughs> endeavor, it would be greatly appreciated. And I charge towards. The... Do not make me fireball, Yara. Before you charge, I cast uh, guidance on you. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. And I try and grab him while he's just jumping up. Yeah, both you give me opposing strength checks. In the tower or not? No, just regular. Let's see how it plays out. Jesus, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so you, you said you're tackling him, right? Yeah. So as you tackle him, you land on the mechanism, releasing more gas or more, more of this green stuff. So Koba and Baron both give me deck saves. Aha! Koba. Uh, you're not able to get out of the way, so you become Green Cow. But don't worry. <clears throat> if you go to clean yourself, this magical dye is not toxic. It is cruelty-free, pet-safe, and hypoallergenic. 
Aaron, if you could drag him off the mechanism, I'll disarm it so we don't have to deal with his nonsense anymore. Yeah, well, I, I'm basically having him in the stranglehold right now. I, 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 I've been looked down at myself Oops. like... It really annoys, like, how, how am I supposed to rob people when I'm this... Can you Looks like drag, an him. drag him off the mechanism if you can. Can I try and do that? Yeah. You well, have him, I, right? I still yeah, you have him. him uh, he's grappled, so he's off. So, uh, can I do a thief skill? A thief yes. Check? So, uh, as I'm being grabbed, do I have enough strength to kick down the mechanism? <laughs> you can try, yeah. Uh, beef. Okay, I'm gonna kick down on the mechanism. Uh, Jesus. That's for the thief's tool, so. Are you gonna pick him up? Let's see. Um, Bargram, give me a strength check. Cause I'm assuming Brogar would pick you up before Sam gets over here. Uh, and Brogar, give me a strength check as well. Okay, so he's able to slam down onto this little thing one last time. I thought I didn't come in until he was pulled him yes. away, ten feet this, away from the this, mechanism. This, yeah, I'm between, I, I, him, I'm between him and the mechanism. This is where I was trying to get to. I was saying he, this was happening before you came over there. So, a deck uh, check for me Yes, again. deck save for you as you're pulling him away. Tower or not? Just regular. Yeah, I'm green You are well. green as well. What, what's 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 the room? You're green as you pull Fargrim off of it. Now, Samuel, you're able to come in there <laughs> and do your text <laughs> tubes tools. Which you rolled a 17, so we'll leave it like that. You disable it. Holy cow! I did not oh, play that. Fargrim's now faster <laughs> than calculating. Can more than give us to the stubbornness of gnome? What's, what's Fargrim wear? I don't say so. That would be it. I did not expect it to play like that. Holy hell! If he's wearing, if he's wearing pants, Kobe's gonna pants him <laughs> and just like just stick him, stick them in his back. Or attempt to. I'm wearing a robe. You made me green, you stupid no. Well, yeah. that idiot made me green. Yeah, yeah. How am I supposed to? How, how am I supposed to rob anyone with? I'm Sam. He made me green. I wasn't leaving here until someone else was green. Now, why why did, did you make, make me green? green? Was I was checking green. the trap. You were in my way. You got into the air I was in. If you hadn't been where you were, you'd not be green. <laughs> you was at the opposite end of the room. <laughs> You're just rubbish at looking for traps. Enough. We have three green people now. That is worse enough. Let us move on. We're three than one. Jeez. Next time, I'm tossing you over my soldier. Wow. Why? Who's your soldier? I mean, so shoulder. <laughs> Jesus. I open it. Free ride. This was a hell of a show. Uh, uh, are you just going to open the door? I am just going to open the door. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm going to jump back when he does that. Uh, I'm these doors are actually locked. <laughs> Huh. You want me to take a look at that, Chase? Yeah, come over here. Can you step back from me, mate? Why don't we just try knocking? Any trap? It does not appear to be trapped. Okay, I'll try to pick the lock. Uh, you are not able to pick this lock. Do I damage the lock, or can I get another shot? I'll cast the guidance on myself first. The lock just disappears because holy hell. Can I roll a 20? Uh, you got a 26 total. <laughs> nice. Alright, so this opens up. Oh, are you, are you going to open the door, I'm assuming? No, I'm gonna step back and let someone bigger than me open the door just in case. Yo, wait a second, guys. I got this. Here we go. 
I wouldn't let him look for traps. You might get covered in green dust. <laughs> I'm gonna use my magical hand to open the door once everyone steps back. Looks at Chazar standing near the door. <laughs> oh. Is it you wanna move? You guys are far too scared, and I'm gonna open the door. Uh, Perfect. The door oh. opens. And roll me some initiative. So slabs set along the walls of the stone chamber hold human-sized bodies wrapped from head to toe in strips of off-white cloth. Even as the doors open, these wrapped bodies begin to rise. Jesus, I dropped the 20. What the fuck? Yes, you did. I'm standing here, yeah. sorry. Samuel. Okie doke. I am the cast last. Okay, so Koba. Darren and Chase, you all are now blessed. Nice. I feel stronger now. It burns us. I'll get. Um, I'm going to move back a little bit. You're going the wrong way. I'm kicking. <laughs> I'm a bit wounded. Apologies. Don't worry, small one. Just stay behind the big ones. You'll serve. That's where Don't make me set you on fire. What? No, you made me green. Don't <laughs> set me on fire. <laughs> well, if the stupid halfling didn't make me green. <laughs> Yeah, you know, the whole reason I'm in this situation is because someone annoyed me and turned them into a frog. Don't annoy the gnome. That's the list. Maybe start taking personal responsibility a bit, eh, Parker? Not my <laughs> fault. Move here. Attack, uh, me. With my lightning. Hmm. Well, that's my turn. Green boy. Uh. <laughs> I think I'm going to rage on these fellas. Start stamping his feet and snorting, and then shoves past his brother and like runs in there with the uh, the uh, the big uh, I need coffee. He's throwing a a, a, a bitch fit. Oh, here we go. Go oh, again, another hit. <laughs> hey, thank you for that follow. You petting small bites. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Fun fact, I have zero here at healing spells. Oh no. What? So zombie four is going to stand up and go over to Shazar Santi. And slam down onto him. And number one, we'll do this to Copa. Because green. Uh oh. Uh, well. You 
comes the death. I'm not going. Uh, that I'm not going to put that in because that's no. Because that would probably kill you guys. Uh, so Shazar. Uh, I guess I'll take a swipe with my longsword. How did that hit? That shouldn't have hit. I don't know. Do you have a green flame blade? I do, but he's not in range to hit anybody with it. Does it need to be a second target? There has to be a second target within five feet of the original target. One, two, three. Green okay. boy. You're an ugly one. I swing my fill and I aim at his head. And I finally hit something. <laughs> and now I see a big hole in his head. Sad. And that was and my. He turn. will slam down onto you. If he will try. Number two will come up to Cesar. Ouchie. Oh, wait. Wrong person. Samuel. I'm going to take a bead on zombie. And I'm going to... Do the bell thing. Wow. Good save for that zombie. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll get Did you just call him old get? I did. <laughs> I thought that was fairly accurate given the previous hint. <laughs> yep. Poor Fargrim. Alright, uh, that's a... Uh... Oh, yeah. Uh, can you add an extra one damage on him? Sure. Let's see. Number three. Okay, okay. Kobo Stormhoof. Got the other one, Kobo. I got this one. Oh, big boy. Aim for the neck. It's a weak spot. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. That's number four. Try to slam it down on two. Chase it in. Number one. Thank God for that metal. Oh, number one for Koba. Uh-oh. Uh, so Koba, if you wish, you may move five feet without provoking attack. If you want to. Uh, you can move up to five feet without provoking opportunity attack. Uh, no, I'll just stay here. Alright. My blade lashes out at zombie 4. That bit of fire shrieks out at uh, zombie 2. Same recipe. Seeing that he's uh, got a hole in his head, I try and lop the head off with my flail. Nice. First I swing it in a 360 spin, and then I let it...
Yep, and his head just bounces off the wall. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, and he does not succeed his save, so he dies. I still have some movement left. I'm gonna save my little brother. And that will be my turn. Alright, so Zombie 2 will try and slam on onto Chase. Sad. Samuel. Okay. I'm not going to rely on the spell this time. I'm going to shoot him with a crossbow. Uh, and that is that. Safe chaser. Lucky I don't hit him in the back of the head with a fireball. Look at that line of sight, I can't get past him. Hmm. Yeah. If I fire a fireball, it's going to hit Chase in the back yeah, of the head. Yeah, because he's a midget. And Chase is semi tall. Next time in fights, you're going to be sitting on my shoulder. But uh, with that, it is 4 p.m. Uh, if you want to finish out this combat, we can and then call it, or we can call it here and pick it back up next week. Oh, I need to. Yeah. Yeah, I actually kind of got to. All right, cool. So we will pick it up here next week. Okay. Try not the green die, Cardinal. <laughs> And uh, stream, <laughs> I'll be back here in about 45 minutes. Oh, it's perfectly Thank fine. I'm watching. just...